Hi, welcome to another video. So, I want to talk about N8N. You wouldn't have seen me talk about N8N at all on my channel for multiple reasons. And one of the major reasons is that I don't use it, and I don't get why I should use it in the current age of tech. Obviously, this might be a bit controversial for people who use N8N, but these are just my thoughts, and I'm simply laying out why I don't use N8N. So, what is N8N? Well, it's a workflow creation platform that is mostly no code. You drag and drop blocks, connect them, and basically build a flow where you provide some kind of input, whether it's text or triggered via an API or something else entirely. Many third-party providers also integrate into N8N's marketplace, allowing you to easily include their services in your workflows. And that's pretty cool. I wouldn't say it's completely no code, though, because to configure a lot of things, you need to know about API calls. To host it, you need to understand servers, firewalls, and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's not a fully no code tool, but it's still a great way to build workflows. It started back in 2019, when there wasn't really such a thing as AI. I used it a little bit here and there myself. But then came AI, and well, it transformed into people using it to build AI agents and workflows. Now, I don't get why people would still use it, especially for workflows that are so simple. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. All in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. Let me give a quick example. A lot of tutorials show an example like, what if you could wake up every day and get an email with the latest AI news? I mean, this is a pretty basic example, but let's take it anyway. Now, configuring this in N8N is quite tricky for me, and debugging it is even trickier, and I'm a pretty decent developer. It honestly pains me to think that I could achieve the same thing in one single prompt with vibe coding. These N8N workflows don't really need to be super high quality anyway, because most of them are one-time or simple repetitive tasks and you can easily fail to get exactly what you want if you build something that's not custom. To do this task in N8N, it could easily take me around 30 minutes to configure, considering I'm still a beginner with N8N. It would also cost me for server hosting, and it's not very customizable. Like, if I wanted to add some niche API or a small custom feature, it turns into a pretty big headache. And being a developer, I often have to do exactly that. But if I created a simple Node app, went to something like Kilo Code, and used something like GLM, which costs around $3 per month, I could have just sent a prompt describing what I want, like fetching from multiple RSS feeds or using an API-like perplexity. From there, I could build it as detailed or simple as I want. I could configure email with whatever service I prefer and get a first working version in about 15 minutes. A more polished version could take an hour, and that's not an exaggeration. It could even be less. It would be proper code that I can edit freely. I can deploy it to something like Cloudflare Workers, which is free, and just use it. It runs faster because it's not running through multiple layers like N8N does and there's so much flexibility in that approach. I think one of the major things AI has done is allow non-technical people to completely ditch 
most no-code tools. I mean, how many of you still use something like Wix to build websites with drag and drop? Probably not many. You can just go to something like Lovable, spin up a website in a few prompts, deploy it, and you're done. Similarly, I don't get why N8N is suddenly popping up again. OpenAI even launched their new agent system, which is pretty much like N8N, and I just don't get it. I mean, anything you want to build can now be done with code and AI coding agents. Even vibe coding platforms let people who can't write code still build things by simply conversing with the AI. So I really don't understand why people are jumping back into no code and workflow tools when you can literally build real apps that are way better alternatives. If you use something like Claude Code, you can even have it make scripts that run automatically on a cron job and trigger whenever you want. Yeah, I see a lot of people asking me to make tutorials about N8N, but I don't make tutorials on things I don't see much value in. Workflow systems are fine if that's what you're into, but I think nothing beats simple code that just gets stuff done for you, especially when you don't even need to write that code yourself anymore. All you need is a solid prompt, check back, and run it. I really loved N8N when it first came out because it was almost like AI before AI was a thing. Writing code to make N8N workflows in something like a shell script used to be really tough, even if you didn't care about code quality. But now, that's not the case anymore. And N8N still isn't something that frees you from coding entirely. You need to understand hosting, servers, or if you're using their hosted version, you still need to understand how APIs work. On the other hand, with tools like Bolt or Lovable, you don't even need to know coding. They can search the web, figure out what should be used, build stuff for you, and even give you simple instructions if needed. I think N8N and the hype around it is mostly about novelty, about how cool and new it looks. But at the end of the day, it's doing things in 30 steps that you could do in two. It's like a shiny new road to the same destination. It just takes longer to get there. Remember when context engineering was all the rage for a month and then vanished? The same thing applies here. Managing N8N workflows is a nightmare when you start integrating APIs or SDKs. With simple code, I can configure a Claude Code SDK easily, but with N8N, I can't. It's super limited, and while it was great six years ago, it doesn't really fit in the current scenario where one prompt can write perfect workflows in seconds. That's basically what I wanted to talk about why people seem to be going back to tools that are inefficient and limited in almost every way. That is majorly about it. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments as well. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.